Ahoy! So this is the Daisy Powerline 747. It's a single stroke pneumatic target pistol and as such came with comes with target grips. Uh, but now these are not the grips it came with of course because these suit a lefty and the thumb goes perfectly over the ridge. The original grips of course were for right-handed people. Now having that on the left hand side rarely gets in the way of your finger actually getting to the trigger. So I decided to set about making myself a set of left-handed grips from the originals, so I just wanted it to look the same. So investigating a whole bunch of things, I decided to uh, take the approach of photogrammetry. Now, that's when you take a whole bunch of photos or something, throw it into the computer, and it tries to regenerate a 3D model from it. So I took a nice contrasting uh, piece of cardboard. I took my grip, and then I took my... Nikon P900, which I used to film my uh, shooting segments and photos of the moon. Um, the reason I used this over my phone, my phone has much better quality pictures, but this one, I ha uh, the camera on this, I have far more control of exposure settings, focal length, and all sorts of stuff, and it saves the metadata to the file just peachy. And I find that's quite important to actually uh, get good results. So using this, I just took I just walked around and took 40 uh, photos from different angles to make sure I got all the all the profile parts. Now it's very important. Photogrammetry does far better when there aren't any shadows. So taking photos in like uh, on an overcast day is far better. Uh, keeping the focal length and all that the same it just helps things out. Now uh, my first attempt was not successful. Uh, I think it was because this is just too dark. So I sprinkled some baby powder on it, and the speckled and just lighter color came out much better. So took all those photos, threw them into a program called Meshroom, clicked Generate, and it made a, a really good mesh first time when, when I speckled it. Um, so then I brought it into Blender, and I noticed that the, um, the edges of the grips had kind of bled into the cardboard. So what I did is I just took a cube to just cut off the bottom, and yeah, then I 3D printed it out and hey presto, I've now got these grips in the gun. So with that done, uh, and it just being the only plastic I had being white, I thought, hey, that looks kind of like the old schooly um, mother of pearl grips. So I thought, okay, well, I bought some silicone. I took this, oh, and by the way, when you make the left-hand grip, you obviously just take the right-hand one and you mirror it on the x-axis. So I took this, I put it in the lunch lunchbox, poured some silicone over it, and voila, I've got the silicone mold. And then I took some resin, I mixed in some mother of pearl stuff, some powder, and it just came out absolutely fantastically. I was so happy when I saw this. And then I took it out, and well, <laughs> it's less shiny than the plastic one. Now, the reason for this is because this is an FDM, printer prints layers of plastic upwards it's got all these ridges in the mold and they came out here and that's just diff diffusing the light it's just not as shiny as it should be now i could sand this but then i'd lose all the stippling that i i have which the photogrammetry actually picked up really nicely on so my plan is to get a resin 3d printer uh print out the original make new molds with it and then shove my mother of pearl resin in and hopefully it'll come out much nicer. Anyway, so that's just basically where I am right now. Uh, I've made these files available on GitHub. They're not perfect. They require some sanding and stuff, but eh, baby steps. Uh, so yeah, let's just, for sake of completeness, see a little video of me shooting this and see what the sound levels are like. How to tell people you don't use this gun this often or that telling them you don't use this gun that often. So obviously the group ain't great. Um, the gun is pretty loud. Uh, what I'm finding is pretty common with all my single stroke pneumatics is that the sound signature is pretty harsh. It's quite a, an intense pop, I guess, compared to say CO2 or PCP, which is far fuller or rounder in the signature. But anyway, this is less about the gun and more about the grips. So another gun which I actually made an attempt to do this for was the Webley Tempest. Now the grips came out pretty well. Uh, 
the thumb fits pretty well. But the thing is, uh, just duplicating without thinking is maybe not the way to go because this gets in the way of your trigger finger. So while you can reach the trigger pretty easily, this is constantly in the way and it's a pretty hefty chunk of protrusion. Anywho, so it may make sense to not just always duplicate the originals as is and then just invert them. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, bye.